Pantry and to the first edition of November. So this is great. Lisa is hosting this and she, she put this together. Um, one of my subscribers though came up with the name and so thank you. And we decided this would be a fun collaboration and there's six of us. So Monday through Saturday, you're gonna have a November video, meaning we'll be using dough of some sort either to prep ahead for the holidays, to give you some recipe ideas for the upcoming holidays or any time of the year. And it's it's just fun. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you, it's fun. And um, I'm gonna go an easy way out. Instead of making my dough from scratch, I am gonna utilize some refrigerator biscuits. Okay, because not all of us have time during the holidays. I work full time. I don't always have time to do everything from scratch. So I'm gonna take a little help from the store and I'm gonna show you how easy this is and how fun this is. And I, I'm just gonna tell you, this is after, it's the day after Halloween, but I'm, I'm prepping this the day of, so I can hand these out as adult treats to the adults that come to the door. All right, so we're gonna make monkey bread muffins and it's gonna be so delicious. It's gonna have homemade apple pie filling in there um, it's going to have, that I canned last year, there we go, hmm, doesn't that look good, smells like fall, okay, so, homemade apple pie filling, we've got our refrigerator biscuits, I'm just gonna get started, super simple, um, I'm gonna grab me some brown sugar, let me bring you in close so you can see what's going on, but it's very easy, okay, so in, in this bowl, I am going to, I'm just gonna put brown sugar, some cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon. We got cinnamon in the apple pie filling, but oh, a little bit of cinnamon. And <clears throat> we're just gonna get that incorporated together. Yeah, just so you can smell the cinnamon, honestly, because I've already got apple, like apple, every, apple pie, everything. So, what you're gonna wanna do is um, get your, your oven preheated to 350. I've got a stick of melted butter. Now this is salted butter, but I am gonna add a pinch of salt because, well, you need it to balance out the sweet, right? So we've got our sugar mixture. I did um, pound down some pecans that's gonna go in our topping. Let's get our biscuits open, oh my gosh. This is so much fun to do and so easy and everybody loves monkey bread. So now you get your very own portion. And I've got two different size muffin tins. I've got small ones, regular cupcake size. Woo! <laughs> that one popped loud. Ooh, okay, that'll wake you up. And this is butter, these are butter flavored so they're buttery and delicious. Okay, get your biscuits out of that. And we're gonna go ahead with, I can do this with scissors, cutting it into pieces. We're gonna get into, because they're small, um, I'm gonna cut these into six pieces per, or maybe even eight. Just, the, you want these kind of small for these smaller tins, okay? And there you go. So we'll cut three across and then however many. And really and truly, these should be going right into my um, sugar mixture over here because I'm going to toss these in sugar first. All right? Kind of let the sugar coat it. Mm. And yeah. And because your hands are warm, you know, they start melting the butter in there. That's okay. So you want to get these nice and coated. And there's my oven. Beeping and booping. Telling me I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever you got. So that's, that's really all there is to that part. Let's do this. Okay, now you see how that goes. And here we've got apple pie filling 
And so again, these are a little bit large. So I'm gonna see that cutting those down. Just take your paring knife and cut those down. You could you could do that with the um, maybe I'll do that with the scissors and I'll get a knife. I'll get my Rita slicer out for my knife. So in let's see, let's get you over so you can see in my muffin tin. I'm gonna grab a couple apple pieces. We'll just start that like that. And we'll get that. Yum. Because it's going to be kind of like um, a little mini pie almost. Monkey bread pie? I don't know. Is that a thing? Okay. Then we're going to put our monkey bread pieces in here. Make sure you got your pieces all coated and separated. Okay. Yum. And leave a little bit of room for the topping because the topping is going to be delicious. The apples are a little sweet surprise in there, but yeah. Okay. Um, let's get these, these guys going. And I'll make my topping and finish that off. Okay, so for the topping, super simple. You are in and out washing your hands, so you do have to wash your hands quite a bit. So now I've got another cup of, I've got a, a stick of butter. I've got a, a cup of brown sugar. And I've got pecans because I love pecans in the, in the fall. I, I don't... I didn't have any walnuts, and walnuts would be really good in this, but holy cow, they were pretty spendy in the store. So I'm going to get this. And a little hit of cinnamon. Down on that. And you've got your topping. Ooh. I may have to make another batch of topping because I, I don't cheap on that. So you're just going to go ahead, I'll grab a spoon, get your topping down over the top, a healthy spoonful of that, yum. We've all had this out of a bunk pan, but how delicious to have it just like that, your own little portion of, of good, lovely, <laughs> Yummy monkey bread. All right, I'm making a mess. This is not a complete without a mess job. I'm going to keep on um, doling this out. And then as soon as I've got these all done and they're ready to go in the oven, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, they are done. They're ready to go in the oven. And they smell and look amazing. So good. I did have to make another batch of the topping because these bigger, these bigger pulled apart muffins, they're big. And so this, the sugar has kind of gotten back or the butter that's in there has uh, rehardened. So in the oven, they go for about 25 minutes. I'll let you know as soon as they're done how long it took. Um, I'm super excited about these. I don't eat sweets very often, but I'm going to have a little one. Okay, guys, I just took these out of the oven. The little ones took 25 minutes. The bigger ones, I went for 30, about 32. <laughs> and they continue. These are still really hot. I can't even get them out of here. But you can see how much they rose up. Here, I'll, I'll show you. They rise to the occasion. Look at how big they got. How glorious is that? I'm so excited! I'm super excited. Okay. And these were out first, but look how fun! How fun! And so they are going to rise on you. I mean, that's the nature of the beast. And then some of your, whatever butter and liquid that's in there is going to come out over the top and maybe even into your oven. You never know. Um, but these are going to be fantastic. I'm going to 
get in here and get one, but I've got to let them cool because I cannot eat hot lava. And I want to take a couple, oh, I want to take a couple of these over to my daughters so they can have these for dessert. So here, we got a little one muffin. And, and there's dripping butter in the bottom of this. So they're buttery. Mm -mm. All right, enough of that. We'll come back when that one's cooled enough. I can do a taste test. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, I can't take it anymore. So I would recommend that you don't get the buttery biscuits because the little butter bits that were in there, I've never bought them before. But they actually, obviously, leach out of the biscuit. And it doesn't really taste like butter. It's, it's fake butter. But I have enough real butter in here and Kerrygold butter, too. So I'm just going to scoop. Hold on. I'm scooping out my, my little muffin out of its wrapper. So you can see my wrapper's right there. Ooh, it's got the apple pie. Mmm. It's going to be so good. And you got your biscuit, a oh, little chunk of biscuit there. Mmm. Oh my God. There is nothing wrong with that. November. Thank you. Mmm. 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 Those biscuits are really, really good. <laughs> mm, but I would say get the regular grands. Don't get the ones that have butter or chunks, what looks like chunks of butter. Because I think that that was my downfall as far as... Mm. Mm. Hold up. I'm not a sweet eater. But the pecans and the apples, oh my gosh, these are glorious. I hope you make them. I hope that you enjoy them. What a sweet, fun dessert for, I don't know, the holidays. Easy. To put together easy you can put that on your holiday table and everybody's got portion control or you can have a holiday party with these out on a cute little cupcake rack just saying delicious i hope it inspires you to step outside the box um make november everything it's supposed to be and it's another way to use up your apple pie filling, too. But I'm going to tell you, that biscuit dough, it came out perfect. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to check out all the November recipes. Monday through Saturday, I've got a link to all the girls down below. And go thank Lisa for putting this together for us. All right, guys. Bye. Ooh, we should come up with a giveaway. In fact, comment on every video and I will come up with a giveaway. I'll pick a random date out of the month and in November. And then out of that video that lands on that date, excluding Sundays, obviously, I will, um, I will uh, pick a random winner and I'll send you a Swedish dough hook. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm.